So yeah, we're preparing them two different ways. If you're from New York, you'll know it's the one that's in the San Gennaro Festival. So we're gonna do no sauce one. But that's what's like traditional. I love it with sauce too. I like it both ways. They're they're very different. One's like very oily. The other one has garlic in it. That's why this garlic is for the sauce one. So we're just gonna prepare. I'm preparing everything right now to have everything ready so I can, once the sausage comes out of the oven, that we can do both of them. But we'll do one at a time, but still, I'm still prepping my ingredients now. These are all pretty much cooked. These started from a frozen state. You're better off having them when they're not frozen. They'll get a little bit browner, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to sear them still. You can also cut, maybe cut them in half. Do whatever, really whatever you want. I, I always want to stress that to you. Please don't let anybody tell you that something has to be a certain way. I'm going to keep it whole. We're going to put this on the hero. And then the other one, the sauce version, we're going to cut them on a, we're going to slice them and put them on a bias and we're going to get them browner that way too. Before you try to cut these, you got to let them cool. We're going to work on the non-sauce version first. Okay, so I was trying not to get splashed. I have my heat pretty low. This is a steel, stainless steel pan. You gotta keep everything really well, but it does work well for the sausages. It grills them up very, very quickly. So now we have some brown bits on the bottom here, and we can get that off with water. And water is also gonna help speed up the cooking process. So what I'm gonna do here is the exact same thing I did on the pepper and egg sandwich. Definitely check that one out too, because honestly, sausage and peppers and pepper and egg are like, if you like one, you probably like the other. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just a couple ounces of water. My heat's probably medium low. I'm gonna cover it for like five minutes and they'll soften up. Oh, and one more thing. So I got some hero rolls. For this type of sausage and peppers, it's really, really good on Italian bread, on a hero roll, uh, on any type of bread to soak up all that oil. Okay, so it's like a few minutes. Peppers are still, they're still a little hard right here. Take the, wa the water that you use, just a tiny bit. It was like an ounce or two. Just scrape the bottom here to remove any of that, you know, really good flavor. You turn your heat up a tiny bit. 
I'm gonna just get rid of the, let the water evaporate. If we have to add a little bit more oil in, we will. And then we'll return the sausages back to the pan. Some salt. About a teaspoon. This is two peppers in here, about an onion and a half and five sausage links. You know, sausage is very flavorful, but your onions and your peppers are not seasoned yet. You know, and I'm using sweet sausage here. If you want, if you want to do this with the hot, then you do the hot. Normally at the fairs, they'll have, you know, they'll, have, they'll be on the huge griddle and they'll have like the hot on one side, the sweet on the other. They'll have all their peppers and onions in the middle, you know, and they'll just, you know, make whichever one you want. Hey, a little bit of oregano, about a quarter teaspoon to a half. Most of that, most of that liquid's evaporated. It took about five minutes and touch them. They need to cook a little bit more. Put some more oil back on. In the last few minutes of this version, let's get the sausages back in. If your heat's a little too high, like mine was, just lower the tag. Oh man, I could just, I could just smell this right now. It's so good. And by the way, if you if the sausage where you live, if you can't find it with fennel, normally in New York, sweet means with fennel, but sometimes they'll sell, they'll, it'll say no fennel, but I know because I lived in Minnesota, you couldn't get it with fennel. So use fennel seeds. And that'll give you that flavor right there. Some people don't like the fennel, so that's why they do sell it without the fennel. And there's places here like uh, pork stores, like a and Pork Store in Massapequa, Massapequa, Long Island. And there's a few other locations. They have about 15 different types of sausages they do. And uh, the place I got this sausage from, Uncle Giuseppe's, this is a moderate, moderate end sausage. This isn't a high end, but but it's a good grind. So it has a lot of fat and, and pork in it. What you'll notice is like kind of like the, the cheaper brands, there'll be no fat and it'll just, it'll look like a hot dog almost. And that's kind of what you want to avoid. All right, now you can easily stop here if you don't want the peppers to be really, really soft. If you, it's good to go. I actually think it's really good like this for the hero. Taste it though before you stop. Make sure these have there's enough flavor on the peppers. That is good. You need to touch more olive oil. You want this to be really oily, like dripping oily. And a touch more pepper. I like to make these dishes a couple different ways. It gives you a choice, number one. This isn't the channel that I'm gonna say like, this is the best way and the only way to do something. I make meatballs like 10 different ways. I make so many different versions of even the same pasta. You know, when I make a la norma, sometimes I'll fry it or sometimes I'll roast the eggplant. And you're gonna learn, you're gonna become a much better cook the more you just experiment, make adjustments, make changes, get input from your family members, you're gonna become a better cook. All right, so these have been going for about 10 minutes. They're, they're, they're fairly soft, but they're, they're not there yet. And they have a little bit of water. We're gonna evaporate this water too. This water process just speeds it up. You know, the same thing in the pepper and egg. You don't have to do it. You can do a low, low heat and you can let them go. It'll take like 20, 30 minutes. Uh, you got the time for that, that's fine. But I'm making chicken cacciatore next, which you probably won't see next, but that's the next one that's coming up today. I have the peppers already. I have the onions over there. And, and that's a great one too. That, that is, and that's another one where you could make 
it a hundred different ways. I love the way I make it, but I change it up sometimes. Sometimes I'll add capers to it, sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll add mushrooms, sometimes I won't. Basically, I want you to become a good cook. You're gonna become a good cook by taking my recipes and making adjustments that you like. I think I think so. That's that's kind of it's kind of what I'm trying to say. These peppers and onions, you don't have to cook as much because we're doing we're putting sauce in here, and the sauce is gonna take is gonna take a little while. We we want to let it cook for a while, so these don't have to be fully fully as soft as the other version that we just did. Here's garlic. Lots of garlic. And I add that in when the water's pretty much evaporated. You know, you can hit it up with a touch more oil right now. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not out. I have I have way more over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, save these when you fry and everything. Take a funnel, buy a, buy a dollar funnel from Amazon or from Harbor Freight or something. Put your funnel on this and pour your oil in. So when you do cutlets or whatever, and then you just cap this every time and uh, you had a great way to store it. Oh, you can just smell the garlic now, it's so good. This version's more complex than the other one. Doesn't mean it's better. This one just has more, more flavors going on. That's brown enough. The garlic, a little lightly golden. Once that happens, I'm gonna put our tomato in. Using a whole can of paste. I want this to be on the thicker side, this tomato. I don't want it to be loose at all. And we will use about a half a can of plum tomatoes that I just crushed, just crushed by hand. You can, you can, you can throw them in the blender for a second. The oily onion pepper is gonna hit the tomato paste. Tomato paste is my favorite ingredient. I use it so much. It's very versatile and it's, I don't, really like the tubes because it's, there's not a lot of it. I prefer to buy it in a can. You can get a 12 pack of cans at Costco for six or seven dollars, roughly. It's a great deal. I put about 12, maybe 12 ounces, maybe like a third of a can or well, maybe a half a can of uh, Stand, a standard can of plum tomatoes, American, is uh, 20, 28 ounces, 28. That, that's how they normally come in the store. I, I never buy cans that are smaller than that. Normally they don't sell plum tomatoes smaller. They'll sell like chopped tomatoes. Uh, I don't buy chopped tomatoes at all. I rarely buy crushed tomatoes. I just like buying the whole tomatoes. And if the San Marzano are too expensive for you, you can buy other brands. Scofani, I think is the name. They're a New Jersey company. The tomatoes come from New Jersey, I think. They're, they're good and they're not expensive. Also, Cento doesn't just sell the San Marzano. They sell other versions of uh, whole tomatoes, which are cheaper too. You know, then they sell an organic San Marzano that's even more expensive. So, you know, they, they all have like different lines of like price. So this is really thick, but we'll still let it, we're gonna let it cook out for about five minutes. I have oregano, I'm gonna put one whole teaspoon of oregano in here and I might put more. This dish needs oregano, dried oregano. About a quarter teaspoon of pepper. All right, we're gonna put all the sausage in, which I just did. Try to submerge it, let it cook. If you're a little too thick here with your sauce, you can add a little bit of water if you need to, but uh, I do like it on the thick side here. So that is sausage and peppers two ways. We have this one, the sauce one. It's the one we just finished. And then this way. The peppers and onions one goes great on Hero. That's the way I recommend you eat it. Put mozzarella on it if you want. Uh, you don't have to, you really don't. You want it to be really oily. It's like all gonna saturate it. This one, the sauce one is really good. Just dipping bread in there. And you can also put it on a Hero. It's really good too. Make both of them. Don't get attached to one recipe ever. Don't say you have the best recipe. Always experiment, make more. There's, this is two versions of sausage and peppers. You can make 10 versions of it. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.